Hey, small group leaders, this is Pastor Sean Rolls from the Community Life Department and talking about small groups, and this is a two-minute training. Today we're going to talk about the five types of questions. These are the five types of open-ended questions that we can all learn to be better at in getting discussion started in our small groups. So let's talk about these. Let's delve right into these, considering I only have a minute and a half left. So the first one is an icebreaker question, and uh, these are the ones that give kind of uh, the personal experience type questions. They encourage to relax, they encourage your people to relax and share from their own personal life experience. They're icebreaker questions. So let me give you a couple examples of these. What was your biggest childhood fear? It's a good question. What was the most unique gift you were, you were ever given? Or what was your best vacation memory? All those get people to relax and get a chance to break the ice in your small groups so that you can, you can talk in a deeper level, in more theological level, as you move forward in your small group. The second type of question is observation. And these questions help the group member to identify what the text is saying. A ask this type of question with your, with your group uh, to, to find out uh, what the passage, to discover what the passage is saying. Um, so let's talk about a couple of examples of this. Uh, possibly, what was Jesus' audience like? Or when does Jesus say it was good to confront others in their faults? Or what are the actions, uh, action verbs in verses 4 through 7? Some of the things that just observe what the scripture is saying. The third type of question is the interpretation question. An interpretation question is to discover what the text means. So each passage has, more, has many applications, it only has one interpretation. Interpretation questions cause the group to wrestle with the meaning of the verse or passage. So let me give you a couple ideas of that. Possibly, why do you think Jesus told the healed man to show but not tell? Or maybe, what do you think it means uh, when Paul says we are ambassadors for Christ? Or what, it, what does it mean when Peter writes, be holy as God is holy? So all those are great questions of discovering what the text means in an interpretation question. The, third, the fourth kind of question is called an application question. And these questions help the group members see that they can act on the principle they discovered in the passage. So these are the do parts of questions. So a good application question will help people think, what should I do with what I've just learned? So a couple examples of a good application question are, which of the virtues from the passage passages do you need to work on the most? Or what can you do this weekend to set an example for others? Or who could you, you encourage this week with a personal story of something God has done for you? So these are all action questions or application questions to help people move forward and become a doer of the word. And the last type of question is a follow-up question. And these are spontaneous questions to clarify or illustrate a deeper concept in the study. So examples of this would be, um, Sue, that was a great answer. Can you give us an example of what you're talking about? Or, go, or let me push back on you and ask you further uh, what you mean in that. Or another type would be, that's a, great, that's a great insight, Bob. What are some particular ways we can apply that to our lives? Or here's another one. That's interesting. Explain what you mean. Tell me a little bit more. So all of these five questions, the icebreaker, the observation, the interpretation, application, and follow-up are all very important parts of being a, a great master of questions and a great facilitator as a small group leader. So thanks for uh, tuning in for less than two minutes. And uh, we'll be sending these out monthly to be, to be able to encourage and create a great leadership.